Hi everyone, today I want to share a one-click workflow for analyzing luciferase assays. Luciferase assays are very sensitive and require typically multiple technical and biological replicates. Because of this, in all of my publications involving luciferase assays, I use 96 well plates to accommodate for these multiple samples. Today I will show you a handy Excel template I use to put together 96 well plates metadata. And then I will show you how to upload the data to R, how to do the analysis and plot the data on one click. Let's use an example of a luciferous reporter with a fixed three parameters of interest that we contrafect with an RNA binding proteins. In this case, we want to understand how mutation to these proteins affect the expression of the reporter in the presence of a drug. We will go through the conditions again in a minute, so do not worry too much about the details of the experimental design. I just want to illustrate that the workflow can accommodate multiple conditions. Okay, let's first look at the raw data in our example. In the standard reporter assays, the raw luciferous activity is typically associated to the treatment and to control for experimental variation, typically a plasmid expressing the renilla luciferase is used as a control. So what you get from the luminometer is typically this raw value of luciferase activity, these raw values for renilla activity, and then you do the ratio between the luciferase and renilla activity for each of the wells. And this is what we are going to use for subsequent analysis. This Excel sheet allows you to add the metadata to the plate just by coloring the plate with the different variables. So let me show how it works. So for example, we did several biological replicates. So the condition would be the biological replicates and with the experiment one and repeat it four times. So now we color uh, for the first quarter, like the cells with the color of experiment one. And then we do that for experiment two below and we do the same for experiment three and experiment four. So we have all the different colors. The next condition that we want to indicate is the proteins that we use. So we use the negative control, the protein itself and two mutants. And the first six wells are for the negative control. The one next to it for the proteins. And then we have the mutant one and the mutant two. And we did the same for the different biological replicates. So we just rep replicate that. We move to the treatment with the vehicle or the drug and we use for half the cells the vehicle and for the other half the drug and we did this across the different conditions. For the rest of the variables we cannot generate variables that were used for the whole table. So for example here we use cells, uh, HeLa cells and we mark them for the whole plate. So far so good. Now let me show you how to put everything together in one table. So in this second sheet, we have such a table where we have the runina uh, and luciferase ratio here at the beginning for each sample, followed by each of the conditions for this well. We do this with this long formula over here. What you see is here expanded that formula, and we are actually iterating through an if Look, if we go back to our metadata, uh, we see that, for example, for this for this cell B45, we want to see if this color is the same as the color in O45. That will be this one. If that is the case, we give the value of P45. Uh, if not, we look and see if the color of B45 here is the same as that of O46. And if that's the case, we give the value of O of P46 and then we iterate till we get till the end of the conditions. So I will put down this formula in the description if you want to use it. There is one thing, however, that you know to, need to know and is we are actually not comparing the colors themselves, but actually I cover the a numerical value for these um, <clears throat> for these cells where actually the number and the background are the same so you cannot see the the numbers but actually what we are comparing are these values over here that as you can see here is, is not as direct to see the organization of the metadata as when you have the colors 
So that's how I like to do it. Very good. So now we have this table. So what we want to do now is to load it to Excel and do all the analysis and the plotting. So we do this with this script here. And the only thing that we need to specify is the order in which we want to plot the data here is the order in which we want to plot the different proteins starting from the negative control, the wild type and the two mutants. So we have here the script is not that long. If we go ahead and run it, we end up with this almost publication quality plot where you not only have the expression of the luciferase for the different conditions, but also you have the comparison between the different conditions and you have the statistic uh, here indicating those that are significant. So let me walk you very briefly through this script that by the way will be down in the description. The first thing is download the data from Excel using this library with Excel and we want to download the data in the normalized table sheet and this is exactly what we have over here. Then there is some normalization of this table so we want to con to normalize the expression in the drug treatment with that of the vehicle so here we get the mean expression of the vehicle treated samples we have it here and we use this to normalize the <coughs> drug ex the expression of the vector when we have the drug and this is what we are doing here to obtain our table of interest and this is the one that we want to plot and we plot using this ggpar pub r library that is a wrapper between uh, ggplot and a statistic statics r library so if you run this you have the plot that i have shown you in a second and this statistic is added using this function here that is the the wrapper of the statics r that is within the library the ggpar r library and allows you to do this comparisons over there. So that's it for today. If you like this video, please let me know uh, in the comments. Subscribe to the channel so that the content gets more accessible to people like you. And I will see you in the next video.